So, good afternoon, dear colleagues and friends. I think we can start, or do we still have somebody to pick up headphones or something? No. So, let me greet you and welcome at the occasion of uh, opening the 30th conference of the Enildelm Network. I am very pleased that we have a chance to meet again after two years of unusual regime. In 2020, we were all surprised by COVID and uh, our network uh, didn't have the annual meeting. And last year, still under COVID regime, we agreed to the online conference only. It was a nice conference, but of course, uh, online is online, and to meet people in presence is something very different. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, today and days uh, before, I was thinking about our network, and uh, I would like to say a few words <coughs> on its, uh, on its uh, history. Uh, this is a very special, in my view at least, network that has started in very early 90s when few enlightened people from the West and from the East uh, started to think about what could be done in order to create conditions or support conditions for people from East and West in a new situation to meet and to share the experience, maybe to inspire each other to talk about things of the mutual interest. I remember some of the names, not all of them I had a chance to meet, uh, who were at the very, very beginnings. If I'm not mistaken, it was Ray Bolem, who is not with us anymore, unfortunately. It was Fons van Wierigen from Utrecht. It was uh, David Oldroyd, who is still very active in Poland. It was Danuta Elsner, another Polish strong pillar of the network, who cannot be with us this time uh, due to health reasons. Uh, it was Christian Jordet from Norway, uh, the man who for many, many years strongly supported the network in various ways, and many others. I hope I didn't offend, offend anyone by not naming him or her now. I'm well aware that there are many people who contributed to the network significantly throughout the years. We are a self-sustaining network, which means that we are not having institutional uh, backing, uh, constant or permanent institutional backing. Every year we are meeting though, uh, every September at a different European place. And every year we are having the three days of a chance to uh, discuss things that are relevant to educational leadership and management. Since the name of the network is European Network for Improving Research and Development in Educational Leadership and Management. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this year, <coughs> this is not only this, yeah. uh, as you know, we are also having a lot of interaction within the network and beyond uh, during the whole time of network's existence. There were many projects people were collaborating on. There were many initiatives people were <clears throat> getting involved in, uh, supporting each other, trying to um, really contribute to the improvement and development in the field of our concern. <clears throat> this year, the conference theme relates to the support to educational leadership in order to help schools improve. And I'm very glad that we have found a highly relevant and highly respectable partner for this conference. This is National Pedagogical Institute, the organization that is directly related to the Ministry of Education, the institute, the institute which is very much interested and involved in 
uh, developing various forms of professional support to people in education. One of the evidence for this is the project that is in Czech called SIPO, the project, national project, <clears throat> that has been for years already focused on uh, support of not only school leaders, but also teachers of various kinds, beginning teachers, people uh, who are involved in education in different roles. I am also part of this project and I'm proud to be part of this project. And I can see that there are a number of very valuable outcomes and initiatives. And uh, I suppose, I hope there is a future for these initiatives as well. Um, this is the reason why we agreed to uh, set up to the, uh, this year's conference as a joint venture of Masaryk University, Faculty of Arts, Department of Education Sciences, uh, where I belong to, so to say, and National Pedagogical Institute, uh, who is, uh, which is very much uh, uh, close to the, to the theme. And this is also the reason why uh, most of this conference, we are going to have a chance to meet not only an Irlam members, traditional international audience from different countries across Europe, but also a significant group of uh, Czech school head teachers uh, who are very actively trying to work in terms of in the direction of developing and improving schools. Um, this is a little bit experimental format for our conference and uh, I think there is a lot of chance in it. And I very much hope that we will make use of this chance. We will find <clears throat> ways how to uh, share our experiences, how to maybe make double networking of certain kinds, uh, how to create new possibilities and learn together. It's very hot over here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I would like to thank to those who participated and contributed to the organization of the conference. Uh, on the National Pedagogical Institute, there are many people who were involved in that. Uh, Eva is the key organizational person in it. You've, you've all met Eva already, I guess. Uh, but also, Jiří Nekola, who was supporting the thing from behind. And uh, Ivo Jupa, who, of course, from his position, was also very positive towards it. Uh, there were more people, of course, uh, Jitka Brabcova and some others. And uh, also, uh, there are people from our department who got involved in preparation of the conference. Teresa Columber, uh, who is backing uh, us uh, at this moment uh, nearby the headphones area, and uh, Barbara Nekardová, who is also, and will be involved in different aspects of organization of our event. I would also like to thank uh, Sylvia Pichová, the uh, representative of Standing Conference of Educational Associations in Czech Republic, very uh, visible, well visible, and very influential, I would say, and positively influential, I believe, organization. She will share with us the uh, uh, issue of uh, support to leadership from the uh, perspective of her, her association or her position. And uh, also, I want to thank, to thank those from Enirdel Network who were very kindly uh, contributing this year as well. Mike Botteri, uh, is Mike here? Had a very nice doctoral seminar this morning already. Uh, uh, you all know that Doug Serma and Carol Seidler, Doug's here, Carol couldn't make it this year for maternity obligations, uh, looking after the uh, Near Delm uh, newsletter that is very lively uh, and kind of steadily uh, supporting us with information we need and we appreciate. I would also like to thank to Mihaela Zavashnik, who uh, came up with a nice suggestion to offer uh, the 
Leadership in Education Journal, a uh, special is issue of it. Uh, I think it will be two, 2023 for selected papers of this conference. Thank you, Mihaela, and your team. Maybe a little more about it at a later stage. And also, I want to thank uh, people from primary school, uh, Namjesti Kiriovich, and Gymnasium Nazatlance, where we had today the school visits for those who were interested. So, uh, yeah, and last but not least, I want to thank to uh, any of the board members who are supporting me uh, in the task to kind of chair the network this year. This is uh, Kirsti Holte, uh, this is uh, Muala Aksu, and this is Mikarisku. And I would also like to mention the name of uh, Sebastian Chagran, who is not with us anymore since he's moved to a different sector, uh, working in cybersecurity and uh, education leadership and management is at the moment not his first priority, so he couldn't, he couldn't make it. But he was supportive uh, throughout the whole year as well, um, and I, I'm grateful for that. So I suppose, I hope I didn't forget anyone, uh, and uh, maybe it's time to pass the word to the other uh, speakers who are part of this uh, opening ceremony. So let me wish our conference a success again. Thank you.